Jim Jones played three sports and collected seven varsity letters at Arthur Hill High School, but football was his forte. He was a skinny kid, but could run fast. And, and he played everything, and he had fun. But he was a delight to coach. He was what we called back then, I don't know what they call him now, but he was a, a coach's ball player. Uh, very talented. You just knew when you looked at him he had a gift. He was the Lumberjacks' top rusher, manned a safety post on defense, while also returning kicks his senior year. You know, we're playing a team projected to, you know, possibly win the state championship, and we're down 6-0 in the middle of the second quarter, and we got them in a punting situation. Well, Jim's back there uh, to receive the punt at our 25, and 75 yards later, Arthur Hill's back in the ball game 6-6. That individual play by Jim Jones was as big as any individual play we had at Arthur Hill while I was there. Uh, it turned the total confidence of our team. Uh, there was electricity on our sideline all of a sudden. The versatile 6'2", 175 pounder earned all Saginaw Valley League honors in football while also playing basketball and track for Arthur Hill. Here's a man that did three sports and did them very, very well. Jones captured all Saginaw Valley League first team honors in basketball after averaging 13 points and 13 rebounds per game and was named the Chuck Fowler Award winner as the team's MVP. The 1972 Arthur Hill High School graduate was the recipient of the inaugural Herb Korf Track Meet Scholarship. And it was the big Valley Championships. And I'm on the infield in and he's on the second lap of his 880. And there was a guy from Bay City Central that was like your quintessential long distance runner, you know, like I had legs, you know, like all the way up to his neck, you know, and the guy had not lost all year. And he was like running 159s, 158 somethings. Jimmy had not broke two minutes, which is, a two minute barrier is big in an 880. And I'm on the inside on the last turn coming down the road and he's behind this guy by, oh, a good 10 yards. And I'm screaming at him. And I've never seen veins come out of somebody's head while they're competing. I mean, like, he like grew veins into his head. And he, he came from somewhere that, you know, it, just, it was amazing. And he beat that guy. He ran like a 158 something. For, and that guy had not lost the whole year. And that day, I was in 10th grade, I learned what drive and what is, when you really go down deep and get something. And Jimmy Jones taught me that. Jones was the Saginaw Valley League champion in the 880-yard run and qualified in the 880 and long jump in the Class A state track meet. He received a football scholarship to Central Michigan University where he was a three-year starter at defensive back. We used to recruit most of our defensive backs who were previously tailbacks or running backs in high school because they were the best athletes. We wanted good athletes at defensive back also. Jones played in Central Michigan's 1974 Pioneer Bowl win over Louisiana Tech, a 35-10 Chippewa victory. In our 1974 National Championship team, uh, he became the starter uh, during that season. CMU then faced the University of Delaware in the Camellia Bowl in the NCAA Division II National Championship game, and the Chippewas overpowered the Blue Hens 54-14. Jones, who was co-captain his senior year in 1975, recorded three interceptions, one for a TD, while also coming away with two fumble recoveries on the season. That same year, Jones led the Mid-American Conference in punt return average, 11 yards, while tying for 15th in the nation. For his career, he had 37 punt returns for 350 yards, including one for 61 yards. Jones still ranks in the top 10 at Central Michigan University in punt returns in a season and punt return average, both coming his senior year. As the Pro Scouts came through that spring, Jimmy's time in those various drills were as good as many of the guys playing pro ball at that time. Jones was drafted in the 13th round by the New England Patriots. After being cut by the Pats, he took a year off and then signed with the Detroit Lions in 1978 as a free agent, but was released. He was elected into Arthur Hill's Letter Winners Hall of Fame in 1989. Jones would go on to coach varsity football at both Valley Lutheran and Arthur Hill high schools. Well, I used to, he didn't know this, I, when he coached Arthur Hill, I used to go along that street uh, that's right along the practice field and I'd just stand on the sideline or off by the fence there and 
Well, if you really watch him, and he still is a class kid.